Hello, John Hayes here again, and I want to share with you another one of the many stories that I've written for my series called Family Stories and Poems from Papa's House. This next story is a bit of a hybrid, like my car. It is part true story and part fairy tale. I think you'll see what I mean in just a minute or two. And if you linger a little longer after my presentation, I'll chat about what inspired me to write this story poem I call My Frozen Fantasy. When I was very, very young, I became very, very sick. I had a very high fever, so I was given popsicles to lick. I asked if I could play, but Mama said, shaking her head, absolutely not, dear. Swallow this and stay here in bed. I took two tiny pills and drank some terrible tasting stuff. Mama said, drink a little more. I'm on no yuck enough. I gazed out my window. Snow was on the ground below, yet it was a sunny day. My friends were playing in the snow. Mama said, you'll sleep now. After the stuff she'd given me, my, my eyes slowly shut and I slipped into a silent, sleepy sea. I floated outside my window. I looked down at the snow. Then I slid down all the icicles and they all began to grow. The snow on my roof, warmed by the sun, melted to the edge. Icy drops crept slowly and perched on that windswept ledge. Drip by drip, drops dripped as the roof was melting her snow. Drops marched single file like ants and fell to the ground below. Some drops refused to fall and clung, then froze to each other. Drops crawled over one another and froze to their icy brother. Drops would flow, stop, and freeze. Flow, stop, and freeze. My house had a runny nose, like me, and it was about to sneeze. Drops became icicle spears as they grew longer to the ground. As these icy spears grew longer, they also grew bigger around. Then some became ice bridges, joining the earth to the skies. Ice soldiers marched from heaven, singing, victory or he dies. Ice soldiers grabbed icicle spears, marching to this battle song. Ice soldiers charged across the icy bridges in a mighty throng. The evil fire dragon flew in to meet them and fought a fiery fight. The dragon's flames melted soldiers who fought with all their might. Ice recruits marched from the north, melting to water falling south. Soldiers raised icicle spears, hurling them down the dragon's mouth. The icicle spears entered the dragon's fiery throat as he took flight. Icicle spears melted the dragon's flames as he flew far from sight. That was when I woke up. I felt so much better. My fever was gone. My frozen fantasy was all over and a new day was about to dawn. <laughs> the honest truth about this title, my frozen fantasy, is that there were two things that inspired me on that fateful day many years ago. The first thing was that I was bored out of my mind, stuck in the snow in a little cottage in Big Bear Lake. I was so bored that I challenged myself to write a story about the first thing I saw after closing my eyes and turning around a couple times. One, two, three, open my eyes. I was staring at a frosty window. There were a couple big icicles that were beginning to melt. The sun was just beginning to peek out from behind storm clouds. Suddenly, a memory of a favorite film of mine as a child in the late 50s, Disney's Fantasia came to my mind and I created a backstory of a sick child dreaming while under medication to bring his fever down. Well, folks, that's the truth behind the inspiration for my frozen fantasy. <laughs> but what I tried to do with it was more lyrical, like Fantasia rather than my basic story. Well, that's about 
all I have for you today. If you enjoyed spending time with me here, please consider subscribing to the channel and signing up for extra content on my website. Until next time, goodbye and God bless.